Six, an eye-opening defender's investigation to tell you about. You need to see this before you find your next parking spot. New numbers show towing is on the rise in the heart of the Queen City. And tonight, our defender's team is investigating the hot spots where your car could be most at risk. We're also revealing complaints of alleged predatory towing or questionable business practices. Defender Alex Shabbat has been digging into the issue for months now. Alex, just how big is this problem? Well, Fred, we've learned the BBB received 65 complaints just this year, and we followed those complaints to some of the busiest parts of Charlotte. Here you can see a towing sign, but it's not that simple because this parking lot is shared by different businesses, including Starbucks. You were probably parked right here. It was an adrenaline rush. I was really upset. But not from caffeine. I wasn't even in there for five minutes. That's when a quick coffee turned into a grande problem. Alan Vanderskel parked in a spot reserved for another tenant. Did you see the sign that said you couldn't park there? No, didn't see the sign. And here's why. Vanderskel shared these photos that appear to show shrubs blocking the towing sign. But what's in plain sight? This boot on his vehicle. That's definitely predatory towing because it was, it was so quick and they didn't really give me a chance to move. They locked down his vehicle, but he snapped photos of theirs. And tonight, the Defenders team learned the company seen here, United Towing, has an F rating from the BBB. How does a company get an F rating? Well, it's uh, primarily based on how they handle or don't handle their customer complaints. From there, our investigation into alleged predatory towing took us down the road to South End, a hot spot for complaints against towing companies last year. They just lay in wait and are ready to pounce for somebody to make a mistake. And new numbers show towing on the rise. According to the city program Park It, more than 1,400 tows from October 2016 to November 2017. That's a three-year high. But unlike other companies, we found the city's towing contractor gets an A rating from the BBB. Hi, my name's Alex Shabad with NBC Charlotte. So we called United Towing, the company that booted Vanderskow's car, for answers about their F rating. I'm wondering why your company's one of four companies that gets the most complaints and also an F rating. At first, the owner agreed to an interview, but then a week later said he changed his mind. Over the phone, he told us everyone has an excuse when they're being towed. Somewhat of a shady practice to boot someone's car when I had a, you know, it was obviously here as a customer. I even had a cup of coffee in my hand. And about that obscured one, warning sign, we sent these photos to United Towing. The owner responded by saying there are plenty of other signs around. Are you ever going to come back here again? If they change the parking, I may come back here. But he says there are other places to get coffee without the additional risk. We also asked city leaders if there needs to be more parking in Charlotte, but they told us they couldn't answer that because a study has not been done yet. Live in Delworth, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte. That can't be helping those businesses nearby. Alex, thank you for that reporting.